part 9 of 9 on naming organic compounds we are going to name esters okay we still on grade 12 organic chemistry okay so when an alcohol reacts with a carboxylic acid an ester and water are formed okay and the formation of an ester is known as esterification the formation of an ester is known as esterification an ester has two parts to its structure each of which must be named okay we are going to see that and in the IUPAC system esters are identified by the suffix oits okay in the IUPAC system esters are identified by the suffix oits okay and the functional group for esters is c o o r o c o 2 r r stands for the carbon atom from the other part okay we are going to see that now to name esters okay naming esters one identify the two parts of the ester first we are going to see that two treat the part derived from the alcohol as a branch okay three treat the part derived from the carboxylic acid as a parent chain so four always name the branch part first okay the branch part first alcohol derived part okay so the branch part is the alcohol derived part and five name the parent chain part right name the parent chain part last that is the part derived from the carboxylic acid okay carboxylic acid derived part okay so we are going to see that let's see example number one give the structural formulae and names of the compound formed when ethanol and propanoic acid react ethanol and alcohol propanoic acid a carboxylic acid okay so you have an alcohol and a carboxylic acid let's get ethanol you know how to draw it this is ethanol okay you have two carbon atoms and you have the hydroxyl group which is the functional group for alcohol okay this is ethanol and propanoic acid three carbon atoms okay three carbon atoms one two three and this is the functional group for carboxylic acid you can see that i hope you know how to draw this if you can't please go back to the previous videos okay so this is your propanoic acid okay propane three carbon atoms okay if you are still struggling please go back to the previous videos okay so you have an alcohol and a carboxylic acid so when they react you're going to have an ester and water so the reaction for this reaction to happen you need a catalyst which is concentrated sulfuric acid okay concentrated sulfuric acid this is sulfuric acid h2so4 this is the condition for this reaction to take place okay you are going to have an ester and water okay so for you to get your ester this is what you have to do remember to do this first if you want to get your ester you have to do this first get your water molecule first and then after you have your water molecule now you can join the two parts remaining okay so let's get the water molecule so you can get oh from this side and h from this side like this so this is h2o the water molecule or you can do this h from this side and oh from this side like this so you can also do this according to scientists oh is from the carboxylic acid okay so in this case it doesn't matter from which side you are taking your oh okay anyhow you do it just make sure you have your water molecule so now you have h2o which is your water molecule okay now you are left with this part from the alcohol right this part this is what you have and you have this part from the carboxylic acid right this part from the carboxylic acid and this part from the alcohol okay now 
you are going to put a bond between the two. And so you have your ester. Okay, this is your ester. Remember, you have water released. Okay, water is released because you have when an alcohol reacts with a carboxylic acid and ester and water are formed. Okay, so this is water and this is an ester. Okay, so you have your ester. Now, about naming. Naming esters. One, identify the two parts of the ester first. Okay, one, identify the two parts of the ester first. This is what you have to do. To identify the two parts, you have to check for the oxygen atom in the chain in line with the carbon atoms. You can see the oxygen atom. On the left, you have a carbon atom and on the right, you have a carbon atom. So you are going to look at this oxygen as your cutoff point, okay? Your bridge, okay? The bridge separating the two parts. So you have this part and you also have this part, okay? On both sides of the oxygen, okay? So you have to check for this oxygen. Now, to treat the part derived from the alcohol as a branch. You can see the part derived from the alcohol is this one. You can see from the alcohol, this part. If you are confused, just check that you don't have this C double bond O. Okay, C double bond O is only from the carboxylic acid. So when you have this, you know that this is not the part from the alcohol. Okay, so because you have this, this is the part from the carboxylic acid. Because of this, you don't find this in the alcohol. Okay, so this is how you can identify. So this part is from the alcohol. You are going to treat it as a branch. We call this as a branch. And three, treat the part derived from the carboxylic acid as a parent chain. You can see because of this, right? You have it. Because of this, C double bond O, you know that this part is derived from the carboxylic acid. You are going to treat it as a parent chain. Okay, parent chain, this part. Now, you are going to name, always name the branch part first. Okay, always name the branch part first. This part, the part from the alcohol. Okay, alcohol derived part. So you are going to use this table. The table we've been using in the previous videos. Okay. This part has got two carbon atoms. Okay, two carbon atoms. You are going to treat it as a branch. Two carbon atoms. Ethyl. So this will be ethyl, right? Ethyl. You treat it as a branch. Okay, name of branch. Two carbon atoms. Ethyl. Okay, two carbon atoms. Ethyl. And this part. Name the parent chain part. This part, the part from the carboxylic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid derived part. You are going to name it last. Okay, so it's made up of three carbon atoms. You treat it as a parent chain, right? Parent chain. Three carbon atoms. You are going to use propane. Okay, propane. You are going to follow this with the suffix oet. Okay, oet. Okay, this is how you can name esters. Now you have ethyl propanoate. Now the functional group for esters is COOR. You can see C, this C is this C, O, O, the first O is this one, and the second O is this one. R represents the carbon atom from the other part, which is the branch. So the functional group will be this part, this one. Can you see? You have C, O, O, and C from the branch. Okay. Now question two. Give the IUPAC name of the following compound. This compound, you can see you have the oxygen atom in a line with carbon atoms. Okay. You can see on the left, a carbon atom, and on the right, a carbon atom. And you have this. So this is an ester. Okay. This is an ester. 
we are going to name it okay now to name this esther this is an esther because of this right because of this you have to check for this one identify the two parts of the esther first okay identify the two parts of the esther first you are going to look at this this oxygen right you have one part on the left and one part on the right okay so you have to check for this oxygen in a line with carbon atoms a carbon atom on the left and another carbon atom on the right okay now treat the part derived from the alcohol as a branch which part derived from the alcohol it cannot be this one because you have c double bond o so the part from the alcohol is this one you are going to treat it as a branch and three treat the part derived from the carboxylic acid as a parent chain you can see because of this you know that this part is from the carboxylic acid you are going to treat it as a parent chain okay parent chain now four always name the branch part first the part derived from the alcohol okay alcohol derived part you are going to name this first okay let's get the table you have to memorize this table okay branch how many carbon atoms four carbon atoms okay four carbon atoms branch vital okay vital and five name the parent chain part last the part derived from the carboxylic acid okay carboxylic acid derived part this part you are going to name it last okay you treat it as a parent chain this part so one carbon atom one carbon atom parent chain methane okay methane one carbon atom you have one carbon atom you can see you have one carbon atom methane and you are going to use the suffix o it okay now you have butyl methanoate and the functional group right the functional group c o o and c from the branch which is r okay c o o and c so this is your functional group this part you can see okay so question three let's do question three okay you're still going to need this naming esters okay you're still going to need this from the previous slide okay now question three and you also have question four okay so let's start with question three question three give the IUPAC name of the following compound okay this is the compound which is an ester okay you can see that you have an oxygen atom in a line with carbon atoms okay you have a carbon atom on the left and another carbon atom on the right okay they didn't show the bond between this oxygen atom and this carbon atom but you understand that you have this oxygen atom in a line with the main chain okay on the left a carbon atom and on the right a carbon atom so this is an ester okay so you are going to identify the two parts of the ester first by looking at this oxygen so you have this part on the left and this part on the right okay to treat the part derived from the alcohol as a branch which part derived from the alcohol it cannot be this one because of c double bond o you don't find this in the alcohol okay so treat the part derived from the alcohol as a branch this is the part this will be your branch and three treat the part derived from the carboxylic acid as a parent chain okay because of this c double bond o this part is from the carboxylic acid you are going to treat it as a parent chain okay so this is parent chain okay four always name the branch part first this part okay you're going to need this table you have to memorize it okay you have one carbon atom you have to treat it as a branch one carbon atom as a branch methyl okay and this part number five name the parent chain part last okay this part how many carbon atoms do you have one two three three you treat it you name it as a parent chain three carbon atoms one two three three carbon atoms propan okay propan and you are going to follow with the suffix oh it 
Remember this from the previous slide. Oh wait. Okay. So this is what you have. Methyl propanoate. Now the functional group. You have C, O, O and C which is R from the branch. So this is the functional group. Now question 4. A. Name the organic compounds that are used to form propyl pentanoate. You can see the suffix O8. So this is an ester. Okay, so A, you are going to need propanol, right? Propanol, this is from the alcohol. You are going to need propanol. And this is from the carboxylic acid. You are going to need pentanoic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid. Pentanoic acid, right? Pentanoic acid. So when you have the two, when this and this react, you are going to get this. Okay, an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. Question B, what reaction conditions are needed for this reaction? You need concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay, concentrated sulfuric acid must be used as a catalyst. And C, what is the name of this type of reaction? Okay, C, esterification. Okay, we are done with part 9 of 9. Okay, until next time, I will talk to you soon.